So I'm an actor. I also I live in New York, and uh, my story is pretty similar to. It's a good thing. My story is pretty similar to to the one we've heard. Get in there so they can hear you. Okay. My question is. When you're an actor and you're up and coming and you're pursuing acting career, um, there's a lot of waiting tables you have to do, and there's a lot of. Before you go further, we just want to sure. interrupt you. We just want to talk about that one uh -huh. phrase. You're up and coming, yeah. but your vibration has already up and come. That's done, and so rather than thinking about up and coming in relationship to everyone else, think in terms of closing the gap between where you are and what's already. It's a more productive thought for you than up and coming. Abraham, since I am an actor and a good one, and I have a vibrational escrow of greatness, what might I do to move in the direction of that greatness? That's a more powerful phrase than up and coming. My question is about organizing your life around supporting your acting career. That's requiring a lot of side crap jobs to we know. In, in between we know. and that lowers your vibration because it's a soul sucking thing it doesn't need to because your vibration can be as high or as low as you decide to make it and as you do some segment intending on your way to your crap job <laughs> think about the segment intending that that is I've got this crap job and this crap job and this crap job and this crap job but if you segment it in in other words because there are things of delicious nature in all of those places that as you identify and isolate them and milk them some of them you can use as the vibrational reason that you're up and coming vibrationally that you're allowing your vibration to rise you see your vibration will naturally rise it's like the cork under the water you can hold it under there when you let go it's going to bob to the surface so your vibration will bob to the surface unless you're focused upon something that you're pushing against so if you are doing exactly the same things going to all those same places but with a different intent of going there with an intention of discovering Esther's crammed into seats with other people and having the time of her life that environment doesn't seem very conducive to the bliss that she's having but it was irrelevant to the bliss that she was having there are people around you with such potential to surprise and delight you that you can't let yourself rendezvous with because of your predisposition about what that place is and who they all are you kind of get what we're talking mm -hmm. about they are the contrast from which your dreams are made here's a good analogy maybe you'll like it so we like it let's say that instead of saying I'm an actor you said I am a gold miner but before I can mine this gold I have to get the elements of the earth together in the proper way there are scientists who know what that is and I have to apply enough pressure on them to make rivers and veins of them I might even have to have some tectonic plate shift and some upheaval volcanic activity and I'm getting on that because I'm creating the gold mine now and we say oh no the gold mines already created all you have to do is get in the zone and you will be inspired to where the gold is that you've already put there how about that and there's gold in them our hills <laughs> everywhere you are there is something that you want but what happens to humans you say I'm an actor and there's where I want to be and here is not where I want to be and we say if here is where you are and here is not where you want to be you can't get to where you want to be you have to make where you are where you want to be even if you don't want to be there you have to find something about where you are that causes you to like to be there or you have to just let yourself dream and let the dream be more dominant so where you are is irrelevant because while you're going through the motions of that and you can you're still dreaming that dream we know you get that conceptually how can we make it practical enough that it feels doable or beable we don't want you to dream in your future this present sucks and I'm dreaming in a future that's the story that a lot of successful actors tell but it's not the most productive story that takes way longer than it needs to tell us your favorite crap job what is it catering bartending bartending yeah is there 
ever an opportunity for more performance than there so here you are performing and an audience a captive audience usually drunk <laughs> and they're wanting to be uplifted and wanting to have a good time and wanting attention from someone and there you are what could be more fun recently Esther and her daughter Tracy and her husband and their two children they flew to New York had a wonderful time together they were there for four days they were going to be there for five days when they left San Antonio while they were at the airport the flight was delayed and then it 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 was canceled and the troops were getting a little restless and there was some complaining and patting going on and Esther said wait a minute you guys isn't the whole point of this just so that we can be together and what difference does it really make where we are doing that being together here we are all together there's not anything else that any of us are required to do isn't this the perfect time for us to just be playful together and having fun together and at first it felt like such a weird thing and then they all thought oh yeah hey Esther says all the time as she's making her way through the belly of the hotel wells or even sitting in the kitchen in anticipation of visiting with you all and she's thinking to herself there's no place on earth I would rather be than right here right now there's nothing I would rather be doing that's how you want to feel no matter what it is that you're doing it's not the most fun thing to be on an airplane for a lot of hours but it's something that's sort of part of the process and you can line up with it and that's really the point that we're wanting to make with you that's the law-based thing that we want you to hear if you do something because you have to rather than because you want to then you're not lined up with it so either don't do it or do it and if you don't do it line up with not doing it and if you do do it line up with doing it because lining up with it and by lining up with it we mean look at it the way your inner being is looking at it and your inner being is always looking for life-giving opportunities if we go through your list of 10 it'll be just like the last one. the whole reason that you want to be an actor is because you want to uplift you have a captive audience all the time right there wanting to be uplifted wanting to hear wisdom from you bartender wisdom <laughs> life wisdom why do you feel so good while you're here I love people why do you look so good <clears throat> well that I can't help <laughs> and I do have these products <laughs> why do you seem so happy I am happy I'm not just seeming happy I'm not acting that I'm feeling that what are you happy about oh, potential and now I'm happy that I get to talk to you happy that I get to be in this great place I'm happy that you all are relaxing and enjoying yourself and you know I'm an actor I do that too and the reason that I like to be an actor is because I like to uplift people and this just fits that bill too I can't be on a stage all the time and even if I could I think I might still want to do some of this because this is up close having opportunities to get to know people and uplift people and learn from people and define myself my acting is fun too it pays a whole lot more there's so much that is coming I can feel it in the pipeline but with that somebody else has written it and somebody else is directing it here is just you and me here we're creating it as we go we're following the plot line and we're by our focus and by the power of our minds in other words some of them you can get that deep with some of them will eat it up drink it up <laughs> following yeah. so so my question was whether to just keep on doing crap jobs in between acting gigs <laughs> and change my change the way I look at things in the direction of what you were just saying. Do you have now. a choice? Well, there is always a choice to introduce new new things you do in New York because there's so many opportunities. Uh, but the, yeah, the, yeah, yeah, the yeah, yeah. But is, what's the path of least resistance? The path of least resistance for me is. Keep, this, on, keep on doing jobs this is a are, big question that's the right answer this is a big question is the path of least resistance to stay where I am and adjust my attitude about it or to take my crappy attitude to another crap job <laughs> and of course 
we're picking up on you but we get it it's like you want to gravitate toward the things that you want the most we told a story for years so Jerry and Esther were living in Phoenix and they were driving to San Diego and about halfway between Phoenix and San Diego is Yuma and it was an all-day drive it was about 400 miles or thereabouts and so off they go and out there in the desert there's subtle beauty yeah but you can get enough of that in about a minute and there's no place to write home about at all along the way and in Yuma which is the halfway point is where they usually stop to refresh and gas up and eat there was really no place that they really wanted to eat either they get in the car and they're on their way to San Diego and they get in Yuma or somewhere out there in the middle of the desert and they're so disoriented by their dissatisfaction of not yet being in San Diego that they just keep turning around and going back to Phoenix so they go from Phoenix to Yuma and 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 they never get to their acting career or they can be on their way basking in the deliciousness of what is and we don't mean coping with it we don't mean just putting up with the crappy job or the crappy drive or the crappy Yuma we mean tuning yourself to the best of what it is and letting things out there in that subtle desert or that desert of crappy jobs let those things begin to reveal themselves to you in a way that you had not seen them before because life is not just going from pinnacle to pinnacle to pinnacle to pinnacle of wonderful things life is about the journey in between and that journey is about the desire that's focused within it you see once you begin talking to those actors that are so well employed and so known by the world and so well paid and so happy in their work once you get up close and personal to them and you are and will you will once you get up close and personal to them you will hear them often say those of them who are not quite up to speed with what you're getting up to speed with they'll reminisce and they'll remember the succulent contrasting times of hardship versus breakthroughs and as they tell the story it's all about the breakthroughs it's all about the breakthroughs and the breakthrough is what we want you all to focus on because in any moment that you allow yourself to find that vibration of upliftment you'll have a breakthrough into something and each one of those breakthroughs it's not just the breakthrough into stardom and fame and riches it's all those breakthroughs that's why you're here in these physical bodies because in this manifestational arena when you line up your energy and something shifts you get to savor it with all of your physical senses it's just delicious for things to unfold for you here you want to be on the leading edge because there is a more measurable discernment of your vibrational progress not progress in the sense that you've got these goals that you must accomplish when you're here but progress in the sense that life has carved out for you a greater opportunity for joy and when you let go of the resistance and you allow yourself to move toward that joy you are expanded into a place that you couldn't have been without it did you hear that we'll say that again to you in 10 different ways the joy is in the journey that's one way you're tired and bored with now but if it were not for the knowing of what you don't want the appreciation of what you do want couldn't even be there if there were not a time of not well employment in the sense of what you're moving toward then there would be no satisfaction in moving toward it you need that relationship you see but humans are too heavy on the what is part of the relationship and we don't ever want you to let go of the what is part of the relationship we just want you to dream more so that you can feel yourself moving we want movement we want you to identify the movement towards something satisfaction comes from one place and one place only having an intention that is established that is calling you and you pulling up your roots and clinging and allowing yourself to be drawn in the direction of your creation that's the only place that satisfaction comes from let's say that somebody here Esther knows so many really famous people and let's say she calls one of them and she says I met the most beautiful human that I've ever laid my eyes on and I believe in his ability and I'd like you to give him a break that sounds like something that you want but it is minuscule in comparison with the rewards that you're going to feel as you allow yourself your natural movement toward this unfolding of who you really are in other words it seems like it's what you want and some of that stuff comes but it comes from the inspiration you see you getting there yeah and so everything is clear
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and see you in the next video.